My name is Chris Boss. Uh, I'm the owner of the Computer Workshop, and I'm the developer of uh, our primary product called Easy GUI 4.0 Professional. Well, I might tell you a little bit about myself, and then I'll discuss a little bit about our software. Uh, you might say I'm a long-time BASIC pro programmer. Uh, I've been working with BASIC for over 20 years. I uh, learned to actually uh, work with BASIC on a kind of a teletype computer back in the mid-70s, uh, long before any type of uh, modern computers that we have today. I really got into working with computers when I got some home computers. For example, I got a, a TI-99, a Commodore 64, Atari, and all that. And I really loved the basic language. Uh, I always felt that uh, basic was so easy to learn and understand, very simple command set. And a person can get up and programming quite quickly. One other thing I found is, is that uh, I always had a very good math background, and so I always found that uh, because of my good abilities with math, it just seems like programming came natural. And, and I really do believe that uh, a good math background is very helpful in being a good programmer. Well, over the years, I developed a lot of software for uh, local businesses, uh, custom software, a variety of different areas from manufacturing to small mom and pop operations. Uh, I gravitated to, to different versions of BASIC, uh, Microsoft QBASIC, Quick BASIC, PDS uh, 7.1. But after some years, when I started getting into working with Windows, I started off with Visual BASIC. And while I really loved the original Visual BASIC, eventually as it Visual BASIC developed, uh, when I got to version 5.0, I just found it a little overwhelming because it just seems like the command set began to just explode to the point where it's very hard to figure out what you were doing. And, and, and part of that, I think, has to do with how I write software. I'm kind of of the opinion that there are really two kind of types of programmers. There are those that they want the computer to do all the work and so are dependent upon a, a drag-and-drop environment and let the, 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 the programming language figure it all out. And there are those that like to write computer code. And, and I think in, in some respects it's becoming more and more a rarity. Well, eventually I found Power Basic. And, and I can say this in all honesty. It's not just a pitch for Power Basic. But I've been using Power Basic for the last 10 years and while well, admittedly when I first got started with Power Basic, uh, I had uh, version 5.0 and it didn't have any, uh, any, any GUI command set whatsoever, so one was required to learn the Windows API, I still was amazed at the simplicity of the code, how reliable and stable the compiler was, and the richness of the command set, especially with things like uh, working with strings and things like that. We might wonder, well, why did I eventually get into developing my product Easy Good? Actually, it wasn't developed to be a commercial product. One of the things I found that to be a good programmer, one needs to, how to put it, it's important to develop good quality libraries if you're going to be a good programmer. And I've always followed that. I've always believed that. You know the old saying, you know, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. If it takes a while to code a particular task, like in the days of DOS, oftentimes people would do menus or drop-down screens or pop-up screens, and some people would use third-party libraries, some would write their own, but the key was is you needed a quality library to do the more complex stuff, which allowed you to build your applications faster once you had a good library. So I did that with Power Basic. And since uh, Power Basic 5.0 didn't have any, any uh, uh, user interface type stuff, no GUI as we would call it, um, I had to learn the Windows API. Now this may be debatable and I'm sure a lot of uh, people have different opinions and oftentimes I hear others say, oh the Windows API is not that hard to understand. Uh, now this is my own personal experience, my own personal opinion, I mean that everybody has the right to their viewpoint. But from my own personal experience, and what I went through in learning the Windows API, I found it very complex, 
very time consuming. I was constantly going back to documentation so I could remember how to use the different commands and so forth. And, and one of the problems with the Windows API I found was is that, that a lot of it is geared toward, um, it, it's really geared toward C. I'm sure Microsoft must use C more than any other language in writing Windows because it just seems like all the syntaxes and everything, the documentation, uh, and the API uh, software development kit, it's all geared towards C programmers. So that made it even harder for a PowerBasic programmer because you know I didn't have everything, the documentation and, and, and a lot, the command set in Windows or the APIs, they're not geared toward uh, a BASIC. So that made things a lot more complicated but I took the time to do it and because I was writing my own in-house library I found it important to go slowly do it right and fully understand the window API's that I was using uh, a common mistake you'll find in, in uh, 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 for example I go into a lot of the online forums such as the PowerBasic online forum it, it's very easy for a lot of times people say well how do you do this someone writes some API code real quick and people just copy it and they just throw it in their programs. I would never do that. Never. Why? Because one should fully understand those APIs you're using before you use it in your software. And that's what I did. But that's why a library was so important because I didn't want to have to go back and constantly keep remembering the Windows API so I would build higher level functions. I would use the API, I would test them thoroughly and make sure they worked. Well, as time went on, I started to develop a, a pretty complex library. I mean, compared to today's version of VCQE, it, 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 it's nowhere near it. But at the time, it was quite powerful. I felt it was important to make a library that was easy to use. And part of easy to use has to do with, for example, when you learn a command, it should be so easy that you could almost memorize it. So using long constants and things like that, it just is, it's a waste of time because if you have to remember all these complex constants, then you're always going to have to either uh, you know be looking them up in the API documentation or you'd have to have some kind of uh, IntelliSense in your code editor that would remember all these things. And, 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 and to be honest with you, one of the reasons why I feel that IntelliSense in, in, in these uh, code editors like in Visual Basic was eventually added was not because somebody came up with this great idea let's make programmers life easier I think it's just because programming became so complex because the the command set would get so uh, extensive uh, programmers couldn't remember everything it was absolutely necessary if you didn't have IntelliSense and in, in, in like later versions of Visual Basic you wouldn't be able to write a, a program because you couldn't remember it all you'd be pulling your documentation out all the time that tells you something. It's not that simple when things get, when the command set gets so extensive that you can't remember it all. Well, EasyGUI had a small command set, about 100 commands or so when it first started. You know, today, uh, EasyGUI 4.0 has about, uh, I'd say, roughly around the 600 commands. That may seem like a lot. But compared to a lot of programming languages, especially object-oriented programming languages, it's actually quite small. But the beauty of it is, 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 is that I design commands so that they, for example, could be reused with multiple controls. Uh, you know, a, a simple command that would have that it made sense to use this command for like every single control because every one of them would do the same thing, even though in the API it may be done differently. I would use one command, and so actually the, the, the feature set is richer than the number of commands in the command set, it's just that they're, they're, I made them as simple as I could. 